What's up guys? It's Marissa with Barely Keeping It Together. And today I wanted to chat with you all about eight different ways that you can make your space happier through decorating. Let's get into it. This is Barely Keeping It Together. What is up you guys? It is Marissa with Barely Keeping It Together. And today I wanted to chat with you all about eight different decorating tips that you can use to decorate and make your space feel happier. First tip that I wanna talk about in terms of decorating to make your space feel happier or curate the vibe that you are looking for in your home is to have all sorts of lighting in your space. Now we are in some dreary winter months. You can potentially see behind me, there is snow, there is clouds. The world is not just, well not the world, but North America is just not like a bright, super happy place to be right now. And it is all about the lighting to lift my vibe as we are just getting into this new year. So I like to have lots of bright light in the winter just to make me feel like, I don't know, like it's like summer? I don't know, something along those lines. But then also I like to have mood lighting. I like to be able to dim my lights at night, have a little hygge vibe if I am feeling comfy cozy. I've got the fireplace going on my TV. I wanna have my lights dimmed, all those sorts of things. So giving yourself a variety of options with dimmable lights, as well as overhead lighting, side lighting, you know, desktop lighting, chair lighting, that's gonna give you the ability to mix and match depending on the vibe that it is that you're going for in your home. And it will allow you to define what in this moment is going to make me feel cheery. Is it bright light? Is it dim, cozy light? So having all different lighting options is definitely one way that you will make your home feel happier through decorating. Second thing that I wanna to talk to you about is all about clearing the clutter. You are going to feel like your space is larger. You're gonna feel like your space is more organized. You're going to feel like your space is more designer and high end by just not having clutter on the surfaces. By clearing the clutter away and everything having a place, you're gonna feel happier in your space because you're not gonna walk into a room and feel like there's stacks of stuff, it's dirty, it's disorganized, etc. So if everything has a place and you clear the clutter, you're going to feel so much happier in your space and it's all about that organization. Third way that you are going to use decor to make your space a happier place to be is use the rule of curation over buying a collection. And so what I mean by that is when you are furnishing a home or when you are decorating a home, don't just go to your local box furniture store and pick out a bedroom set where the bed, the bedside tables, the dresser, everything matches and is a set. Instead, choose individual pieces that you love that will come together. So maybe let's say you do buy your bed frame at a big box store, then potentially buy nightstands that are matching that are not from that same set as well as a dresser that coordinates with the set potentially you can add in some antique pieces with some new pieces maybe even family heirlooms and the fact that you take the time to curate things and bring them together is going to make your home feel layered it's going to feel like it has a little bit of history it's also going to feel significantly higher end and more designer decor if you go ahead and curate over buying collections of furniture. Now in a living room, for example, same thing. Now potentially you do go to a big box furniture store and buy two matching sofas, but don't then go buy the matching love seat or the matching chair that goes with it. Buy a different coffee table, again, different end stands. Your TV credenza should be totally different and you're gonna put together this layered look that feels a lot more higher end and designer and ultimately you're going to feel happier in the space because it's not just going to feel like you walked into your local bobs or jordan marsh or bernie and phil's okay those are east coast references but you're not going to feel like you just walked into a big box store you're going to feel like you have this really high-end curated time put together piece but also it's going to feel like it's a lot more customized to you and your taste. So you're ultimately just gonna end up being happier in this beautiful space. Like my fourth point of how to make your house feel happier through using decor is to surround yourself with things that you love. So that might be, as I mentioned earlier, family heirlooms that mean something to you. If it's a grandmother's dresser, for example, I actually have a lot of my grandparents' family heirlooms 
that are pieces we have kept in the family. And then I've mixed in new pieces or antiques that I've bought other places. But having pieces around you that make you happy. And then there's new things that I've bought that make me feel really happy too. I love my crystals, you guys. They give me all the good juju. No, they're not family heirlooms. They're brand new. I bought them at Home Goods, by the way, but they make me feel happy. But another thing that can make you feel happy is art that you've purchased custom for your home or pictures of your family and your loved ones displayed in a beautiful gallery wall. There's all sorts of different ways that you can think about what makes me happy when I'm around it and bring those things around you and surround yourself with those things because if you curate first and then surround yourself with things that you love when you're in your space it's just going to feel again so layered but also so customized to you and your home so go ahead and think about all different sorts of items that could bring you joy whether it's family photos or just things that make you happy as a person and start figuring out ways to incorporate those into your decor as well the fifth thing that you can do with the decor in your home to make your space a happier space is actually scientifically proven, which is including live plants in the space around you. Now, this is a perfect example of I don't know the expression. What is it? Don't listen to your teachers because I don't do it. I kill plants. I'm a horrible plant mom. I wish I was a good plant mom, but honestly, I don't really wish I was a good plant mom because I just don't care. But honestly, you guys, having plants in your space puts clean air in your space, and it's scientifically proven to make you a happier person by breathing in that clean plant air. Your plants are gonna live longer if you talk to them. You're gonna have another friend. You know what I mean? It's a living being in your space. So get a plant if you want a happier space. Your girl's not gonna have a plant because it it's just not me. So I'll do the other seven things. I won't be having a plant, but you should get a plant in your space. I also wanna talk to you guys about another way to make your space a happier space to live in, which is that you can add in pops of bright colors. Now, have you ever been to a place that's like all white with a pop of hot pink or orange or yellow or something like that? It feels happy. It feels cheery. It is just going to make you smile to walk in and see, I don't know, an all white room with a like bright pink couch. Okay, maybe that's extreme. I probably wouldn't do that myself. But adding in pops of color, if it's something that you enjoy and like the way it looks, is going to make your space feel happier and just like, you know, all the vibes. So add in pops of color if it's something that you like. Now, the next thing is my seventh tip for making your house a happier home through decor is making your space brighter through decor. Now, as I mentioned in my first tip, I am all about bringing in light. I hate dismal dark winters. So there are a couple tricks that I personally use to bring more light into my home. Well, one, I love having as many windows as possible. If you can't tell, my room is filled with windows, which makes it a little bit difficult to film for YouTube, but it does make me wake up in a happier mood because I get all the sunlight in here. Now, if you are in a space that doesn't get as much light, there are some ways that you can trick yourself into getting a little bit more light. And my favorite is mirrors. If you have mirrors all around your room, it's going to reflect light. Now, if you have a dark space with maybe one window, if you put a mirror on the wall across from that one window, it is going to reflect. It could potentially even look like you have a second window in that space. So add mirrors to your space and make sure that you have as many windows as possible to make your space feel brighter. Now, if you are in a dark and dismal space, you can also paint your walls white. This is going to make space feel brighter as well. So if you harness the light through all the windows, you include mirrors and you paint your walls white, you're going to feel brighter in your space. It's, you know, maybe you live in a garden unit apartment. If you do all three of those things, you're just going to feel like, I don't know, like brighter, happier. It's not the dead of winter, all those things. So use light to harness brightness in your apartment to make you feel like a happier person. And my Final and eighth tip for how to make your house a happier space through decorating is also scientifically proven and it is that you are going to trick your eyes with the power of symmetry. As human beings, we are naturally drawn to symmetrical spaces. If you guys have ever seen the science behind the most attractive faces in the world is it is actually that the face is as symmetrical as possible, meaning that one side reflects the other side perfectly and that there is less um, 
differences. Yeah, exactly. Less differences between the two. So different ways that you can use symmetry in your home to make it a happier space. For example, one of my golden rules is that if you have a bed with two nightstands, they should both be identical. So meaning you should look at the bed, two of the exact same nightstands, two of the exact same lights on both sides. That symmetry looking at your bed is going to make your space feel so much more refined and higher end and using things like that throughout your home is going to make you happier in the space. Now in a living space, I would recommend the same thing when you are looking at any major piece of furniture. So meaning if you are looking at a large sofa, you want your two um, end tables to match and then you want one coffee table in the middle. So if you look at it, yeah, you might have different decor items on each side, but they should also balance each other. So if you have three things on this side, you should have three things on this side. Or if you have, you know, your coffee table and then two end tables with, I don't know, maybe books and then trinkets, like, yes, they can be different things, but they should be feel weighted similarly. And keeping that symmetry throughout your home is going to make it feel more cohesive as well as just higher end. And it's gonna dupe the human brain and the human eye to be more drawn to look at something that's symmetrical than something that feels uneven. If you walk into something and the space feels uneven and not symmetrical, the human eye is just naturally not going to like it because we are drawn to like symmetry because it actually scientifically proves or like is scientifically from the idea of reproduction and seeing something that is symmetrical is like more likely to be fertile and like having babies and like it just it goes back to all those things. So use symmetry throughout your home to make yourself feel subconsciously happier through the decor that you use in your space. Now, I would also like to share if you guys love restoration hardware decor because one, who doesn't? And two, we all do, right? So if you have a bed with the two nightstands and then the two mirrors above that and two lamps that match, it's the symmetry, it's the brightness, it's the light, it adds height to the space. That's another way that like sort of brings in a lot of the different components that I talked about in today's video to make a space feel happier, symmetrical and brighter through decor. All right, you guys, that is all I have for you. Those are my top eight tips for using decor to make your home feel like a happier space. I would love to hear what you thought of my suggestions down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That does so much for my channel, as well as subscribe to my channel right here. Otherwise, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.